All right, good morning, everybody. The chief is very excited in the front row. So, it's great to see you, Chief. All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the second annual uh, Class of 1970 Cyber Leaders Conference. Uh, it is great to see such a huge turnout. Last year, we were restricted very much by uh, COVID protocols, so we actually have a huge turnout this year. I think we have around 40 West Point cadets, 40 ROTC cadets, 30 active duty folks, so we have have quite the turnout, and it's, it's great, great to see everybody actually in person, so this is great. So, uh, um, Lieutenant Colonel Arnold, I will be your guide through this journey for the next day and a half, and I just want to introduce our first guest speaker. So this is uh, from the class of 1970, who are the donors that have made this event possible. We have Mr. John Connor, who will be coming up and giving us our, our first welcome. I'm the guy that knew the answer to the question, what's a Gilman clear for all of, the, all of you that were doing the contest last night. <laughs> well, it's an honor to uh, represent my class, the class of 70. Um, and as Todd mentioned, we've endowed the Cyber Leaders Conference in perpetuity as our 50th anniversary class gift to West Point. Um, and of course, the Army Cyber Institute is blessed with truly great leadership. Uh, our Army's first cyber commander, General Rhett Hernandez, who's with us here, the director of uh, ACI, uh, Colonel Steve Hamilton, Deputy Director Dr. Paul Maxwell, and Colonel Todd Arnold, just to name a few of the folks that are making ACI uh, this program uh, possible. <clears throat> At first, choosing a gift to donate to West Point, and of course, we have over 600 of, of our classmates still alive, was a little bit of a chore. Um, you know, when we came on our 50th anniversary, we set up a little committee. They kind of surveyed the class. But it became clear to us that once we understood just how critical cyber operations have become, that this was the right thing to endow. And, and our goal was really to enhance the cadet educational experience that would make cadets and our Army better. And we figured cyber was an area that needed emphasis uh, in the future. So we endowed the Cyber Leaders Conference, and we're enormously proud of each, of every, each and every one of you cyber warriors, cadets and officers alike. <clears throat> Back when we were cadets, our education revolved around this, a slide rule. You didn't leave home without it. Uh, you brought it to every class. And my classmate Frank Monaco reminds me that computer punch cards, that's how you programmed a computer back then. Uh, and there weren't many of us that did that. Frank did, I didn't. <laughs> but we wouldn't intend class without our slide rule. And this is the original one that I had as a cadet, so if you want to take and look at it. I can't read it anymore, my eyesight's not good enough. <laughs> but we've come a long way, uh, for sure, since the days of slide rules. Uh, and I can't tell you how impressed we are with how you're adopting to the warp speed of technology today and keeping the, this nation in front and safe from all who would do us harm. Sooner than you can imagine, you'll be out front and you know this better than we ever did. Our nation's military leaders cannot fight future conflicts with technology, with the technology, weapons, and tactics of the last war. So it's incumbent upon us to really learn and develop the cyber concepts that will keep us out in front. And that, you know, gives us the, uh, the fitting title for this uh, conference, Company Grade Leadership in Cyber, because it's really at your level, company grade level, that this is going to snowball and grow and develop uh, within the Army. <clears throat> and the conference is privileged to have company grade officers who've already been in the trenches they and you are the future of the Army cyber branch. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the broader theme of the conference, and that's being the importance of cyber operations to the nation's overall security. It's not just military. It impacts our preparedness in physical, economic, and intellectual infrastructure. And coming from the financial services industry, as I've been in my career, I can tell you that there is a lot of attention that goes into 
cybersecurity in that business, and I'm sure many other businesses. Again, I'm honored that ACI's leadership has allowed me to kick off this year's cyber conference, and I look forward to the excellent programs you have in front of you. Thank you very much, and enjoy the conference. Thank you very much for the kind words and, and the kickoff. And next speaking is going to be the ACI director, uh, Colonel Stephen Hamilton. All right, good morning, everyone. All right, motivated. Okay, so um, I'm the ACI director as of December 14th last year, so only about a month or so. But I've been in ACI for a while um, when I... Uh, Got to ACI within about a year or so. Uh, General Hernandez came and said we want to do the Cyber Leader Conference, and we all scratched our head and said, what does that mean? What does this look like? How is this going to work? Um, we started the planning for it, and then uh, I think we got our best guy. Some of you may know Major Suslowitz. He was the first planner for this conference, and then this thing called COVID happened, so we didn't have the conference in the heat PCS, and then we tried to figure out how to restart it, and... Uh, so this is the second one, uh, and this is really, I'm just excited because this is what we envisioned. So I, if you would have asked me five years ago if this is where it was going to be, I wouldn't have known, I wouldn't have been comfortable saying it, we, would, we would make it there. But um, we've got everybody here. I think, from what I understand, this is the first time that this cohort of class of 23 cyber officers will all be together in, in the same room. So this is, um, this is just an awesome, awesome thing. Um, as I thought about this, there's no other branch that does something like this. But we're also the newest branch, and we're still trying to build it and, and figure it out. So um, I, I'm just super excited we got everybody here today. Um, what I would like to do is just kind of leave you with uh, two thoughts as you go through this conference. Um, the first one is uh, actually for our uh, active duty here who, who are in the cyber force. Um, we, we use a lot of acronyms. Um, please like say what those are, um, and I'll tell all the cadets, uh, if they say the acronym, ask them what it means. Don't, don't be afraid to ask. This is the perfect time for you to try to figure out what the cyber force is like. So there, there, there may be some rabbit holes of things, and all of a sudden you're kind of lost in the conversation. Just stop and say, hey, what, what does that actually mean? What are you talking about? Like this is the, this is the forum for you to try to figure out um, how the cyber branch works. So I'm, I'm real excited that we're able to make this work. And, and again, I, I can't thank the class of 70 enough um, for this endowment to make this happen, uh, hopefully indefinitely. So um, I give a quick round of applause for the class of 70. <laughs> 